Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller with PA Creative. I have another tutorial for you today for Divi. This time I am showing you how to change the aspect ratio of gallery images. So you may remember I have a video on how to do this for just regular images, but in this tutorial I'm showing you how to do it for the gallery module. So we're going to be able to make, make them all square, Maybe you want to make them look vertical or horizontal and you can play around with different percentages and my little snippets of CSS code to basically make them whatever aspect ratio you want. All right, so I'm going to do a show you. I'm going to walk you through a demo. Let's get started. All right, so in Divi with the gallery module, there are two options right now. There's this default uh, aspect ratio for the images. Also in here, there is portrait. So landscape and portrait right now. Now I created this tutorial before this was even an option, but I also have a tutorial for how to change the image aspect ratio and crop the images right in Divi. And that you may have seen that video on this channel before or the tutorial. But I also wanted to expand that tutorial, use that same math that I showed you in that one, and bring it into other modules like the blog module and the portfolio and the uh, image gallery. So I'm going to do that right now. So check out the link in this video and go over to the blog post. Over there is where I do have some math. And you know, you can read over this. I talked about it a little bit in the other video. It's just the math that we're using to get the the images to be, you know, square or, um, you know, 16, 9, something like that. So how it works is we take an, an Im, uh, class, CSS class, similar like this, PA image gallery 1-1. One -one. Um, in fact, let's just, let's take that one, copy it, and we'll put it in here. This is probably the most common one that you're going to use. Um, to make them square because that's a common request. So in the gallery module here, we need to have this, all right? PA image gallery one, one. So that one, one, I kind of have a system where I'll change that based on the aspect ratio. And so just quick example, like this one's 69. So I have it PA image gallery 69. And then this number is going to be different on every single one of these, that number gets calculated and is, is different. You see that? And so that's what creates this um, uniqueness. It creates this cropping effect. And here is where I explain that math for each one. But thankfully for you, you don't have to do any math and figure that out. So the first one, probably the most popular one, we want to take this snippet, copy it all, go back to our example here. And we've already put the class in there in that module. So go to the page settings. I like to show you on the page settings where to put CSS. Now you could, of course, put this in your theme options or child theme later. I just like to show you here on the page. Let's paste that. And ta-da, we have square gallery. Now, I mean, isn't this so much better? I really, honestly, this is like one of my favorite things, um, favorite tutorials. And it just looks so much better. And of course, you probably know by now, you can go into your row, go into the design, sizing, and I have it set to the custom gutter width. So it's, by default, it's like that. Um, and of course, if you wanted them to be close like that, change that. I kind of like it on two. Um, and, you know, I have the, t I have the, oh, the image caption and title turned off that's under elements here title and caption uh, i like to make a clean gallery like that all right so let's show you one or two more uh let's see what would be a good one so let's say we want to have like really tall ones i'm not sure why but let's take this and you'll notice here that that you have that different number 916 let's go back in here gonna override what we had all right, and it def you know defaulted because it's no longer working. So what did I say? Nine sixteen. There you go. And you know it doesn't stretch the image or anything like that. It just 
it just fits the container. The image will fit the container. Let's do one more. Uh, let's see. What would be another good one just to show you? You know, there's there's the 16.9. That's the opposite of what we just did. So let's do that. So, in fact, I'll just change it here a while. 16.9. And override what we pasted in here. All right, so it just shrinks them a little bit as far as the height. And you know, there's always a use case for this type of thing. In fact, I think that looks nice. Depending on what you're doing, you know, you don't want to take up as much space. I, I like that. I really do. So I think that's all I'm going to show you. I think you've got the gist of it. Just remember to change this number um, in in here in the module in the advanced tab. CSS class. So just change that. You can use my system. And let's say you you wanted to make um, something custom. All you would have to do is go up here and, and change the math. Um, look here, you divide the second number by the first. So let's say, for example, 16 divided by 9, you come with 0 0.5625. Well, you move the decimal point two places to the right, and you get 56.25%. So it's a nice little formula. Um, it works, you know, this is how, you know, we're familiar with these. We, our phones, you know, TVs and, and videos and things like that, they all come with, you know, 16.9 and now they're changing that. I forget what it is now. Um, I don't forget what it, what the new ones are, the phones that are really tall, but uh, it's it, this is how it's calculated. So hopefully you've enjoyed this and this can be valuable. You know, I'm, I'm a fan of the square one. I kind of like this too, but, you know, the square is popular. A lot of people are trying that. So hopefully you can put that to good use. All right. Well, that does it. I hope you've enjoyed that. hope you find that useful. Maybe you can play around with a couple of those different ones. I always like the square one, but hopefully, you know, you can find this useful and make uh, your galleries a little a little more unique than what comes with Divi out of the box. All right, so that's it for this one. If you want to subscribe, we do this type of video a lot, so that's what you'll be getting if you subscribe either here or on the blog. All right, we'll see you in the next video.